to Gasa Media. My name is Mofo Frida, your host. In today's program, we'll be focusing on the Kudu USA Convention and the 30 years anniversary coming up in July 2023. With me here in the studio is Ma'am Bile, who will tell us when and where this convention is to take place, and our correspondent in the US will equally give us updates on phone concerning this event. Well, Ma'am Bile, it's an honor to have you here in today's program. Please, what information do you have concerning this upcoming event? Thank you so much, Frida, for giving me the opportunity. Yes, Lekudo USA will be having their annual convention from the, 20th, from the 28th to the 30th of July 2023, which is going to be blended with the 30 years anniversary, and that is going to take place in Columbus, Ohio, USA. You know, Lekudo USA is the biggest organization in the BLM division, and for the past two years, they have been engaged in some humanitarian works and they have been providing, I mean, uh, uh, food to the IDPs as well as organizing health campaigns, which uh, Gaza Media has actually covered some of them. I mean, the underserved community had the privilege to benefit from free consultation as well as laboratory investigation and even free medication. And uh, our correspondent in the USA is going to be telling us more about this upcoming uh, 30 years anniversary and the annual convention of the Kudo USA. So, um, NS, can you hear me? Yes, Yes, thank you so much. I want to find out as concerns this upcoming convention of the Kudo USA in Ohio, uh, Columbus. What exactly do you think are some of the activities that will be taking place during this convention? Yes, I agree. Thank you again once more. Uh, I, I think, uh, let me give you a little bit of background. Actually, the convention will take place, as you said, on Friday, uh, July 28 to Sunday, which is the 18th of July. And uh, uh, I spoke with uh, the CEO of the Kudu USA, Mr. Adam Terence, who had a deep conversation. He began to outline some of uh, the activities that would take place at the event that will be taken. Center in Columbus, Ohio. Yeah, as you earlier mentioned, that uh, uh, they are involved in humanitarian uh, activities. Now they want to embark on infrastructure projects like the Wounded Road project that uh, we earlier documented. Uh, according to the CEO, uh, the road project uh, has a short term goal and a long term goal. For the short term goal, they want to pay some cover or some quarters for run of water. So that actually uh, voted a budget of about two million CFA according to him uh, to start that work project. But because the law in Cameroon, the, the new law in Cameroon actually advocated that road to be a council or communal road, uh, they had to seek authorization from the council which they already endured. So when you probably when the registration is over they will embark on uh, well, by building the cover, one of the major covers, as it explained to me, then building gutter or run off of water for uh, the side of the road. Then uh, they also mentioned about the long term goal of that project uh, that they want to add some equipment, uh, the, uh, the bulldozer and the grader. Landslide, they will be able to take care of it. And he estimated that the project uh, will cover about 120 million CFA funds. And uh, I think uh, this will be a game changer if they are able to realize this kind of uh, project. Uh, but one of the things that uh, was really big worry when I spoke to him was uh, the issue of who to manage this kind of equipment uh, if they ever realize it. Uh, he's, he mentioned that. Sign an agreement uh, with the Fogari movement. As you know, the Fogari movement uh, that have had uh, kind of uh, construction agreement before. So I think if that is done, then um, it will better serve uh, Lebanon people and the Lebanon people as well. Okay, you have given us so much detail already. I was just about asking you whether. Um, 
they are going to have a fundraising during this uh, convention. If yes, then what are the funds going to be used for? Now you have given us full details. Is it just to confirm with me that during this convention there is going to be a fundraising? How is this year convention going to be different from other conventions because they are also celebrating the 30 years anniversary? Right. So this year is going to be different in the sense that we're celebrating 30 years of the achievements of the impact of the Kudu USA on uh, Lebang uh, at home, Lebang people at home, and on Lebang as a community in the United States. So that's the first thing. But the second thing is that we're also looking forward to what we would like the next 30 years to be. So how do we, where, what, you know, where do we want the bank to be in the next 30 years? The third is that we are bringing all our, uh, we're bringing so many of our artists from Cameroon and Europe and the United States to perform uh, because we really, really want to put our culture and our artists, in terms of Afrobeat, uh, put them on the map too. So they're going to perform in DC and they're going to perform in many states uh, and they'll perform at the convention. So it'll be an opportunity for a lot of our folks to actually meet a lot of these artists, Strong Bangwa Boy, Asaba, and, and, and so many others, Minka System. They're all going to be performing there uh, to help us raise funds for development. Now, the fourth thing is that you're going to have a lot of delegates coming from around the world. Uh, the phone of Fontem is coming. His Royal Majesty, the phone of Fontem is coming. The phone of, uh, of Fondumeto will be there. And other phones, chiefs, notables, they're going to be there. And a lot of our elites from Cameroon, uh, Britain, Europe, and, and, and the United States are going to be there. So it's really an opportunity for every, that everybody needs to come and see. Say come and see event like no other. And the phone say the phone says he's gonna perform Aluachaba and another dance. So it's important that everybody comes and, and and you know on that day. But we also need to raise funds to go and do the great things that we are all thinking about. So we think the more people come, the more they are able to contribute so that we can better our land. Okay, okay thank you so much. And yeah, thank you, thank you for that. I just want to find out now that it's going to be a twin celebration, the annual come together or the annual convention and 30 years anniversary. What kind of activities do you anticipate that will be taking place as a celebration towards this 30 years anniversary? Yes, let me ask you this other question before you go. Uh, we are celebrating a 30 year anniversary. What about the history of the Kudu in the USA? Are you going to, are there going to be species or are they going to recognize the Parsi or that have been there that has actually been piloting the Kudu until where it is today? Yeah, of course. That is, that goes to the saying, right? 30 years of our achievement uh, and the theme of the convention it's uh, in the line of us reflecting on how far we've come and what are our next steps 
And how far we've come has been uh, 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 thanks to the contribution of uh, dedicated folks. Uh, and ahead of those teams, you have the past CEOs and the board chairs. So we, we're really going to, we, we're going to really tell the story of what each CEO and his team have contributed to the growth of Lekodo ESA, but also to the development of Lebanon. Okay, yeah, Mr. CEO, uh, thank you for your time uh, this evening. Thank you, Gaza Media. You guys are the best. Share, like, comment, and subscribe. For this presentation, I have been more for freedom.